Mayor Curry is ending the mask mandate for Duval County. He made the announcement about an hour and a half ago, saying he will no longer require people to wear masks in public buildings or spaces. But he also stressed businesses can still require them, and he encourages them to do so. Tarek Miner and News for Jacks reporter Jim Piggott are continuing our coverage of the pandemic at 6 o'clock. We begin with Jim, who's been talking with local businesses and doctors about what they see happening now with masks. Jim, what have you learned? Well, you know, it's now longer that the city is no longer requiring these, you're still going to see a lot of face masks, particularly at stores like Winn-Dixie, which are requiring them. Many we spoke to today are surprised to hear the mayor is dropping the mask mandate. Do you think it's smart to get rid of the mask mandate? It, it may not be smart for them, but for me, it's smarter for me to wear it. You know, I just, that's how I feel. I mean, we, you need to keep the masses until it's gone. And that's what doctors like Elizabeth Ransom at Baptist Health are saying. Even though the numbers are dropping and more and more of us are getting the vaccine, she says COVID-19 is not gone and masks should not go away. It really is coming down to a bit of a race between the vaccine and the variants. And so I think it's still really important um, that we maintain our vigilance uh, and continue to wear masks. The Duval County Medical Society said, while we understand that the mask mandate for Duval County has expired, we strongly encourage continued social distancing, mask wearing, and hand washing as a way to mitigate the spread of COVID-19. I did check with a number of businesses today, like Winn-Dixie, which will continue to require masks. At local bars, well, it's still up in the air. At Park Place in Riverside, the plan is to still require customers to wear masks. I think it's great uh, that it's giving the businesses opportunity to choose. Um, but me personally, I'd like to see uh, ta us taking care of our customers sure. in the end. So that if your customers come in and they're not wearing a mask, you're going to ask them to do so? Yeah, just so we can take care of our at-risk clientele. But other barkeeps tell me they will leave that up to the customer and they're not going to force the issue. You know, I, I just think it's interesting of what people are saying, what's going to happen now with the mass mandate being dropped, because that mandate before really didn't have any teeth to it, no enforcement powers, but they gave them something to fall back on. Those that wanted people to wear a mask, now they're going to do is just wait and see. We're live in Lakewood, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.